Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April, around mid-April. Um, this will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. Keep that in mind. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, Aries, let's get right into it. This will be a reading for those of you who have someone in mind. Spirit, any messages for Aries, please, regarding the person they are thinking about for mid-April 2020? I'm going to pull some oracle cards and then I'll clarify with the tarot. Messages for Aries, please. Mid-April 2020 regarding love. What does Aries need to know? Let's see, Aries. Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments, so thank you for your support. Please consider subscribing or liking the video if you enjoy my readings. All right, Aries, let's see. What do we have for Aries spirit for mid-April regarding love? That one kind of wanted to jump out. Okay, we got commitment. Beautiful. That's a good start, Aries. Let's see what else do we have for Aries. We have all tied up. Interesting. So I could be talking today about you or the person that you're interested in. If you're to flip the roles, if they resonate more for Aries, please, Spirit for Aries. What messages do you have for Aries for mid-April? What messages do you have for Aries? Thank you. Flying. Interesting. Flying. Kind of being on cloud nine here, looking at something from a different perspective. Um, but someone here feels tied up someone here I, I am going to clarify these energies further but right now what i'm seeing is someone feeling a bit stuck in this connection um there's commitment there's seeing something from a positive angle at least seeing something from a new perspective being very happy and content with flying spirit help me clarify these energies for aries please regarding the person they are thinking about. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Aries, regarding the person they are thinking about. I'm being told to do reversals. I just keep thinking reversal, reversal, reversal. Normally, I don't read reversals. Um, I'm going to do it for you guys, though, because I'm being called to. That is so strange. I felt that just so strongly. Reversal, reversal, reversal is all I heard. Okay, all right, Aries. Spirit has a message for you clearly. Interesting. So let's get into it. All right, tell me about commitment. Whatever situation I talk about today, Aries, time is fluid. So it could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future, okay? And remember to flip the roles if they resonate. Okay, so we got, hold on, I'm not used to, <laughs> I'm not used to reading reversals. Okay, so we have Eight of Cups in Reverse, Page of Cups in Reverse. Interesting. Someone could, with Eight of Cups in Reverse, someone could be coming back around, but then we have the Page of Cups in Reverse. This could be someone that's in and out of your life, Aries. Um, it could also be someone where you never re received closure regarding a committed relationship here. This is also someone who is not expressing how they feel. Um, interesting. Let's see if we can get one more. What else can you tell me about commitment? Oh my God, I have like an ant here. Go away. I didn't kill it. I just blew it off. <laughs> what else can you tell me about commitment? What is this commitment energy? That's too many. Spirit, what else can you tell me about commitment for Aries? This is going to be very strange reading reversals. I used to read them when I first started doing tarot, but I haven't done them in a long time. So let's see. Hangman. Yeah. Okay. So this goes with this tied up energy. Someone here is feeling 
possibly it could go two ways someone's feeling trapped in a commitment of some sort tied up in a commitment of some sort possibly wanting to break free here with flying um, or someone is having some sort of clarity about a commitment that they walked away from in the past all right so tell me about all tied up what's this all tied up energy about this reminds me a lot of eight of swords energy we have the knight of swords Hmm. Tell me more about all tied up. I feel like someone wants to communicate. I just don't, I'm getting very, um, with all tied up, this is someone that can't move. Um, this is someone that is stuck, frozen, um, trapped. Uh, Knight of Swords, this is someone on the move. Someone going against um, all odds here. He's kind of running against the wind, kind of. Um, he's on a mission to deliver truth and communicate something. So I, I'm getting the sense that this is two very opposing energies here. This could be that someone is stuck in this situation, but wanting to move. Tell me more, Spirit, about All Tied Up. The Lovers, beautiful. Sign of Gemini. Someone needing to make a decision between the head and the heart here. Um, someone could have possibly already made a decision about who they want to be with. Could be someone with Gemini in their chart. What else can you tell me about all tied up spirit for Aries? Three of swords reverse. Okay, so someone here possibly is getting over a painful situation. I have Seven of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck. Um, this could also be uh, Seven of Swords reverse. This could also be someone who's been caught. Someone was caught um, trying to sneak away, caught lying, caught cheating. Um, possibly someone cheated on someone else in this in a commitment, and so that caused someone to walk away in the past. I feel like someone wants to return though. I feel like in the past, um, someone um, removed their the love they had for someone else. Um, they took it away, or they they held back from someone um, when they walked away. But I feel like someone's getting over a very painful situation here, possibly regarding a union, and that's why they want to communicate. Tell me about flying. Let's see what we can get for flying. Spirit, what can you tell me for flying? For Aries, please. Can you tell me about flying? For Aries. With flying, I'm really getting, and I almost want to read that message. Let me just look at the keywords for that message in case I'm missing anything. But I've always thought of that card as being able to be kind of like on cloud nine and looking down be able to see things from a different yeah a new perspective becomes available um this is a sign that your waiting is over all your hard work is paid off you have the ability to reach for the stars spread your wings and soar so i get the feeling that someone here is is seeing an opportunity seeing things from a new perspective wanting to break free and Oh, yeah, as I say that, I have the Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. She's not kind. She's not compassionate. She's the opposite. She's very emotional as well. Not in a good way. Um, she could also be manipulative. Could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe you're recognizing someone for who they are. Anything else for flying, please? Seeing someone in a new light. Ace of Wands reversed. Wow. Something is something here ended because there was no love. No, it was either a very highly emotional situation or someone was very unkind. Someone was hurtful, and. It caused something to die or just 
come to a halt. What else can you tell me about flying? Judgment, interesting. This makes perfect sense. Someone here is looking at the past, at how things evolved, how things went down. Um, there's possibly karma involved in this situation. Um, someone could be wanting a second chance. Someone could be wanting to return because I do have the Eight of Cups reversed. So someone could be wanting to return. Um, possibly they've, uh, they're thinking or focused on what didn't work out here. Someone wants victory with the Six of Wands reversed. So let's look a little bit further. Let's get some more clarity. Oh, they're telling me reverse again. Hang on. Spirit, please provide clarity for these messages, please, for my Aries viewers. Thank you, Spirit, for your messages. That is so interesting. Such a clear request. <laughs> I think Spirit has a very unique message here. This might not be for everyone watching. It might not resonate with a lot of you. Um, take what resonates. All right, so let's look at this a little bit closer here. Tell me about this Eight of Cups reversed. Spirit, what's this Eight of Cups reversed about? For Aries. Thank you. Okay, reversals. I have to remember that. The moon reverse, strength card reverse. Someone here, um, I feel like there was some something revealed or something um, has come to light that caused someone else to lose courage, confidence, to be fearful. Someone walked away because of fear or because of something they found out. Which makes sense because we have the Seven of Swords reversed. Um, Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck could have been a third party. Tell me about the Page of Cups reversed. Tell me about the Page of Cups reversed, please, for Aries. Queen of Swords reversed. Oh, man. This is someone cruel, harsh with their words angry typically chip on their shoulder kind of energy someone was not happy and they expressed or it's almost like the love died tell me more about the page of cups reversed tell me more please about the page, page of cups reversed hermit sign of virgo here you could have been dealing with a virgo but what i'm seeing is Someone here withdrew completely from this connection. Three of Cups reversed. Um, definitely, I'm getting the vibe that there was an interference of some sort here. Tell me about the hangman. Whoa. That is a lot, but I'm going to take them. Page of Swords. Queen of Wands. Someone has gotten some sort of clarity here or seen things from a different perspective here. They're watching someone wanting to make a move. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're holding back. They want to move, but they're holding back, which makes sense with this all tied up in Knight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. They could be seeing you as a Knight of Pentacles energy, someone solid, stable, grounded, someone who is successful. Um who's doing well for themselves. They're watching, they're waiting, but they're not they're not doing anything about it, hangman. Hey, Bottom of the deck, I have the 5 of pentacles. There could be um um emotional distance between you. This there, this could be a very cold situation where um there's been possibly silence, um no communication or possibly um a lot of insecurity and struggle here in this connection. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Aries. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. Oh, thank you. Hangman, I think, I don't know if it was in reverse or not, so I'm just gonna take him. 
upright because I already have him here upright. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. That was my bad. I should have just picked it up how I saw it on the floor. I'm still, I'm not used to the, doing reversals on the channel, so bear with me, guys. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords, please. Temperance. Yeah. So someone here wants to rebalance a situation. I feel also there's been a lot of time here that has passed. Tell me about the lovers. Could be a Sagittarius, someone with Sagittarius in their chart. But I really get the sense that someone wants to de deliver or, or um, bring forth a message, an honest message. Um, tell me, oh my gosh. Tell me about the lovers. And that message is almost like they want to bring harmony to the situation. They want to communicate that they have clarity, that they have a new perspective, that they want to move forward with the chariot. Sign of Cancer. I feel like this person has decided to move forward um, towards you, it seems like here. Tell me more about the lovers. Yeah, the sun. And then we got the three of swords upright. Interesting. I feel like this person is conflicted here with the sun and the three of swords. It's almost like they know that they hurt you in the past. And it's like they are hoping you're over the pain or that you, you can heal this. Either that this person wants to heal this or they're hoping you coming together and, and having harmony again will heal the connection. Tell me about the three of swords reversed. Well, Eight of Wands reversed. Interesting. No movement. This is very interesting. This could also be one of you wants to move forward. The other one doesn't. And it's almost like there's a stalemate. Tell me about the Three of Swords reversed. I'm also getting blocked communication. You could have blocked this person or again, there's no communication between you. Tell me more about the Three of Swords reverse. The Fool, yeah. Some of you, um, this could be you, Aries, by the way. The sign of Aries here. Um, I'm really getting the full energy with this flying. Some of you are going to block this person, block this communication, shut this down because you're focused on something new. For others of you, someone's going to want to get through to you to start something new here. Tell me more about... The Three of Swords. Spirit coming. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting so many cards. Okay. Four of Wands, Knight of Swords again, Seven of Pentacles. I'm really getting the sense of there's been a long time that has passed between um, when this happened and this reunion of some sort. And then I have Seven of Cups in reverse. This person has made their decision there's no confusion for this person anymore. They've decided. That's why they want to come in. Um, they don't know if you're going to be open to this. They've been waiting, I feel, for the right time to approach you because I fear, I feel that they, they, they fear that you're going to reject them. And you just might. So let's look over here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. This is not a kind person. Queen of Cups, she has completely, um, how do I say it? She's very uh, resentful, bitter. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. So is the Queen of Swords reverse. Someone here is not happy regarding this. This could be what ha the fallout that happened I feel like with judgment here, it's like someone's looking at what happened in the past. This Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands reversed. And I feel like this person is been is being awakened to the fact that um, this was a bad situation. It ended terribly. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups reverse, please, Spirit. The star reverse. 
Yeah, this Queen of Cups, she lost all hope in this situation. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups reversed. This person could also be someone who's tied up in a commitment that there's no love in this commitment. It's almost like this person could have left you for someone else, Aries, or vice versa. Feel free to switch it. They left you for someone else and now they're stuck in a loveless relationship of some sort. They're losing hope in this connection and so they want to return to someone that they screwed over, essentially. Oh my gosh. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. For others of you, you are this Queen of Cups. You are not going to be open to this. Five of Cups. Yeah. Someone here is still still regret is someone's regretful for how badly they screwed up here there's disappointment here so if this person left you for someone else they're very disappointed and sad in the relationship that they're in tell me more about this queen of cups reverse please yep nine of wands this person is been through it with this other partner Tell me about the Ace of Wands reversed. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Wow. There could have been lies here as well. Lack of communication. Lack of clarity. Fogginess. And yeah. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands reversed. Something has ended here or stopped completely. Either in the past or right now, th that'll be the current situation. We got the Queen of Cups upright with justice. Interesting. Um, someone could be getting a divorce or um, someone's making a final decision here with justice to, to rebalance a situation. I feel like they're doing it for love. I'm also getting for some of you, this person is ending something to return to the Queen of Cups that they still love that possibly is not going to accept them or um, because, you know, this person sees a Queen of, this Queen of Cups upright, she's very compassionate, nurturing, loving. Um, someone I feel views you like this Aries or vice versa. And I feel like this person is hoping to make things right here with this Queen of Cups, where in the past, they were not happy. They hurt a Queen of Cups, or this Queen of Cups was hurting, um, was a mess, I feel, after what happened. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Aries. Yeah, this person wants to come back to make an offer. Tell me more about judgment. Queen of Pentacles reversed. My God. I think this is... I think this is like a third party situation here. I have three of swords twice. I got third party energy over here. I think this is the third party. Third party is not happy that this person is leaving them. Third party is completely like losing it. Um, this is someone greedy. Um, they're not a good partner. They're not a committed partner, for example. Um, they're selfish. They tend to not be good providers, good mothers, or bad with money, etc., etc. Tell me more about judgment. Tell me more about judgment. Yeah, Six of Swords reversed. This person's coming back. They're leaving, I feel, an imbalanced situation. With the six of, of pentacles reversed um this is here there's again more greeting it's almost like they were um putting an effort into something that was 
imbalanced, hurtful. Um, I feel like that situation was very painful with the Ten of Swords reversed, but they're coming out of that. Um, and, you know, they it's almost like they have to leave someone else to find balance again. Aries, I don't know if you're going to take this person back. Let's get some romance angels. I don't even know if we should be doing <laughs> romance angels, but we'll see. <laughs> I really feel like this was a very specific message. If it resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing that messages resonated with you all. I feel more connected with you as well. So let's see, Aries. Spare any romance angels for Aries regarding this situation. Any messages? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You know what I'm seeing with this? The Nine of Pentacles. This person, I feel like they're seeing you in a new light. Very similar here. They're attracted to who you've become, almost, in the time that you guys have been apart. Wow. Anything else for Aries, please? Free yourself. Yeah, this person, it's time to take back control of your life. This person, I feel like they're freeing themselves right now. Wow. Let's get one more. One more, please, for Aries, Spirit. For Aries. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This person could have been a player in the past and it bit them in the ass. Sorry, excuse my French. Um, with retreat at the bottom of the deck, see how it says it's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like there's a distance between you, whether emotional or long distance. Um, I'm getting that there, you guys took a pause, right? I'm also getting this person misses the fun that you had together. I don't think there's love or fun where they're at right now. And I don't mean to laugh because that's not funny. But, you know, this was, I feel, a very, this could have been a karmic partner because we have judgment here. So this almost had to happen for this person to learn a very important lesson. Um, I feel like they've had an aha moment where they are very clear. They are very clear on the truth of a situation with Knight of Swords here. They're very clear and honest about how they screwed up in the past as well. I don't see this person being someone who's naive to their part in this situation. All right, Aries, I'm going to take the outcome of this into the extended. This is such an interesting reading. I'm going to be looking at you, the, your person's intentions, their true intentions, how they're really viewing this connection and what's next. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope it resonated with most of you. If it did, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Um, if it didn't, check out your other placements. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in another video. Take care.